Hey guys, it's Jordan Atta Gaming. Hope your day is going well. Be putting on the mini videos the next few days or probably a week or two. I'm in a lot of pain. Um, and I'm losing a lot of feeling in my legs again. I'm actually quite scared. Literally very scared. Um, recently I've been getting extreme lot of pain in my legs where I literally go crazy because it hurts and I'm on probably 28 pills a day including uh, a couple of sprays and a couple of other things to stop the pain that doesn't really work um, and I feel really angry at myself because the depression I've got at the moment is starting to kick in again um, I stopped my depression tablet about two weeks ago and I got really angry at myself and uh, I'm in depressed the last week or so so I'm on back on again I'm, I was actually quite angry at myself for the last few days and I made some people really angry and I do apologise for that and I feel sorry for you people who do get, I do get angry because my life at the moment is starting to get really uh, awful and hectic. Um, my back pain is killing me again. My spinal surgery I had back in June, I don't think it worked. It worked for a couple of months, but now it's fucking painful. So I'm scared that I'm going to wake up one day and I can't walk. I'm extremely scared that might actually happen. So the biggest thing I've got to do at the moment is basically wait, see what happens, see if I can basically walk again. That's my biggest fear. My biggest fear at the moment is walking, because I don't want to lose that. Because if I lose that, my life's fucked. Um, I don't want to get back in my wheelchair. I said to the nurses and doctors when I was in hospital, I don't want to be in a wheelchair. And I told them, and I said I wouldn't do it. And Every day I used to get out of bed and start walking and they used to get angry because I was doing it without help and supervision. And at the moment, I'm scared I'm going to be up back in hospital with the same symptoms of spinal pain. I'm scared that if I do wake up and I can't walk, that... <laughs> that... Uh, I won't be able to do much. And... A nice fuck. I am literally that scared at the moment. I've been told by the doctor to lose a bit of weight. Yes, I've got to lose some weight. I can't lose weight at the moment. It's got other problems and nothing to do with food or anything. It's just exercising because I can't walk far and I can't push much now. My hands are one of my le my left hand has got new problems since I had my knee surgery done. They had my arm stuck down the thing for four hours and uh, two of the nerves got cut somehow and I can't actually feel my thumb or move half a hand so it feels extremely sore but feels as weird as anything. So that's why um, I get quite angry because it hurts. So I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm scared, I'm really, I really am scared, I'm extremely. And people will probably laugh because they say, oh, you're scared, you're going to walk again. Walking is the biggest thing for me to keep. I got told by the doctor, if I lose that, I'm screwed. He said, you'll be in a probably electric wheelchair the rest of your life, and you'll probably be dead by 40. And I thought, no, that's not going to happen. I said to myself, no. I got a friend of mine who got out of a wheelchair, and she got back up on her feet, and she got hit by a truck, and she got hit by a truck, and got back up walking again after she had about 20 operations and, and other things were wrong with her like me same sort of symptoms and I'm worried that if I do wake up in the morning that's why I'm not sleeping I'm awake really 24 hours a day and sleeping for two hours because I'm scared I'm not going to be able to walk and I'm terrified that's going to happen that's why I've been worried lately and one of my biggest things is I'm scared that if I do wake up with no feeling, I could spend hospital, time in hospital again for Christmas. And I don't want to do that again. 
Let's go see guys the Christmas, and I'm scared that if I go to the hospital, I might not come back out. Or they might put me in a home, or put me in residential care. Because that is one of the options at the moment, because I'm struggling myself to do things. I can't even go to the toilet or get changed, or anything like that. I can't even bend down. I can't even have a shower without someone helping me, because my legs and my whole body are extremely weak after surgery. So I've got a lady coming in three times a week to do that. I've got a woman who helps me do other things, a physio, I've got OTs, I've got a, um, a really good mother who helps me out a lot, um, a really good mother, she does a lot for me and I do appreciate it, my brothers as well, I won't say if I didn't have them I'd be screwed, so yeah, this is just a little update, so don't expect any videos until maybe next Thursday after the election because I'm really keen on the election so on the Tuesday and Wednesday I won't be playing games at all I'll be watching the election because I love political shit I'm, I love political, I love it my favourite hobby so um, yeah um, yeah if I offended any of you guys I'm sorry um, I know there's a person out there still thinks I'm fat dog and fat and um, ugly and everything else. That's fine, you can think about that what you want to, but I don't care anymore. I've got to live my life before I lose it because I'm scared that if I do lose it, I'm gonna, I might lose it forever. So I'm living my life to the full. Soon I'll be going away for a couple of weeks. Uh, in January and February, um, I'm not taking any electrical equipment to my laptop or my iPad, but I'm not taking my Xbox or my computer screens or anything. I'm just going to go cold turkey and start fresh and think about what's going to happen. Well, I can say my YouTube channel is going to have a huge update soon, and I'm going to stop playing GTA for a while and start playing other games because I want to start doing simulations, flight simulations. So that's one of the next videos, guys. So I'm sorry if you. Uh, Got bored from me just sitting here. Um, as you can see, I've got the dub still here on me. I don't care. I think I've got six days in here. I don't care, honestly. I don't mind being here with six days, seven, eight hours, and three minutes. I can't really read that. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm walking. Nothing, I'm not touching anything. It's weird. Oh, earthquake. So, that's it, guys. I like to say, um, two people in particular, you know who you are, Stephen, Craig, um, Lay, and Blake, and Ozzy, I'm sorry mate, I really am, like, I've been really pissing you off and I was getting angry myself, I'm scared. People probably think, oh, you're a cry baby and you're scared of anything, but I'm, I'm, you don't understand when you lose your feeling in your legs, you're fucked. I don't want to be up in a wheelchair again. I lost that back in 2004 when I was only 14 years old. I lost my feeling in my leg, my whole body nearly, my waist down, and had to re walk again. All I can say is, I've done it once, I'll do it again. And I'll do it three times if I have to. I don't give up. I'm not one of those people who give up every five minutes. I'm the person that gets out of bed every day and says, Anthony, we're going to do it. We're not going to piss around. I'm now walking better than what I used to. My new leg is a perfect shape. And all I can say is I love walking now. I used to hate it, now I love it. Because it feels much better. So I'm going to say thank you guys. And if you guys are happy and Smiley and all that rubbish, thank you. And I hope you subscribe, like, comment. And to all the haters out there, you know who you are. I can name 20 of you. Don't send me bullshit about bullshit because your comments get deleted. Oh, I want approval, so. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And 